Well, I got the new bushings pressed in the lollipops. Um, sorry, I couldn't get any footage of that. My camera was being a little finicky. Uh, I mean, pretty easy. People buy new lollipops, but I happen to have a press, so I can just buy the bushings, and they're pretty cheap and uh, easy to do. So, a little update real quick. Um, I've got both of the uppers, or sorry, both of the front uh, lowering springs installed, the race springs. Still got to do the rears, as you can see those over there. Um, you know, got the old control arms off. I need to get the tie rods off. I actually bought new sway bar links too, stabilizer links. So I will swap those out as well. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment. So uh, let's get back to it, shall we? So at this point right now, um, I am going to be removing the inner and outer tie rods. Uh, I'm going to be removing the sway bar link, swapping those over to the new ones that I have purchased. Hopefully I can match up uh, the tie rods as best I can. Um, probably going to need to get an alignment after this, but yeah, so uh, let's get to it. So now what I've got to do here is match the distance from the end of the old tie rod. Well, measure the distance from the end of the old tie rod to the other end, down here, center to center. And then I need to match that with the new tie rod. them pretty close to lined up probably about as close as I'm gonna get it right now um, I will measure again once I put the tie rod on but let's get to that part
I'm gonna uh, replace the rear springs. Uh, pretty straightforward process um, with a McPherson strut style spring compressor. Uh, it's pretty easy, but I'll show you guys anyways.